Hello everyone, this is Sarah from Defection Gaming bringing you more from Reaper of Souls. Now we're going to carry on where we left off, go to West March Heights and start chopping people up. That's precisely what we want to do, that's precisely what we're going to do. So off we go. We need to kill all three of these maidens. Down here. Not ready yet. On we go. Oops. Press four instead of three. Oh well, that's fine. Ooh. Can I no no longer get there? Oh no, I can. You do look pretty badass, I must admit, when you're in this form. Oh, hello. Kill this first. And then chest. Normal chest. It's a nice place to go, and we've got Panic House. Help! Someone! Anyone! Is there someone there? Help us, please! <laughs> Nice, a resplendent chest. Oh, a diamond. Anything else hidden here? Oh, apart from this freak of men. There we go, we'll continue. To one maiden of flame at least. See if we can get both the others. Here's another. Oh. Um. We need one more maiden of flame. Oh, hello, another Clifton Hall. Done. The bloodline of Rakis will once again sit on the throne of Westmarch. And that would be you? My grandmother was the daughter of Coralon, but he would not claim her because she was born of a courtesan, not a queen. With the peasants supporting me, Westmarch will become a place of freedom and equality. The idle rich will be no more. Of course, there will be some bloodshed. We must make a few examples, consolidate our power. A small price to pay. You betray your king while the people of Westmarch are massacred in the streets. You are not worthy of the throne. I have spent my whole life preparing for this day. I completely agree with Exodia. He's not right for the throne if he would do such a naughty thing. Not 
I like how you can't hurt him until you kill the higher mages, that's a good idea. I just get something called loyal links. I have come to realize that my personal feelings are of no consequence. My people are dying, and they need their king. Our resistance starts today, and Lord Winton, of all people, has provided the means. These reapers shall not have Westmarch. I swear my life on it. They're quite the big upgrade. I'll keep them all purely because they've got resist to all elements, and then I'll take them down there. And when I go back to uh, when I go back to where I need to be, I can uh, disenchant it, get the things, get the gems out. Uh, no, not disenchant. Unmake it, get the gems out, and uh, carry on. Quite good. Hello. Oh god. That combo that combo son. Yet. 
Do 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 do. Tower of Corleone. Ghosts and stuff. <laughs> That's fun. Holy Christ. My master has begun his work on the stone. Nothing that you do matters. Bloody hell. Soon demons spawn like you will be gone forever. I'm no demon spawn, son. God, that's quite alarming. He's got like a cannon. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Jesus, that was a nice death animation. In death, there's peace. Oof. Turn to the survivors, ain't I? That was really cool boss fight. He has like a cannon thing. That was pretty cool. Urzael is dead, and without his leadership, the Reapers should be easy for Torian's men to finish off. You have saved Westmarch, my friend. Yay. But we still don't know why Malthael wants the stone. And he grows stronger by the moment. We are running out of time. That strange woman you brought here believes she can help. She insisted on speaking with you immediately. Uh, okay, well that's what we will do. I'm going to speak to her immediately. Sheldor, I know how to find Malthael, but you will not like what I have to tell you. What is it? There is only one person who knows how to find Malthael. She waits for you in the blood marsh, and you know her well. Adria. Adria. Sweet. Sweet. Revenge. take that, we put that in there, we then do that, we then get those two back, but I believe I believe we can make something, because I've got a diamond, so I'm pretty sure in my stash I have another diamond, but I've got better, better diamonds. So I'll use two of those diamonds in there. And one of those diamonds in the legendary shield. Haha! -ha. And then uh, put everything else in the stash. 
That's pretty good. Happy with that. Leave that up there. And yes, let's continue. You're not going anywhere without me. And why is that? Someone has to make sure you don't kill Adria before you find out where Malthiel is. Come if you want, but Adria is going to pay for what she did to Leah. Oh, I wonder if this guy's a new companion. That'd be quite cool. Urzael and the Reapers are dead. Now the people of Westmarch can begin to rebuild their city and their lives. Lorath and I depart for the Blood March to confront Adria. She knows how to find Malthiel, but more importantly, there is a blood debt between us, and she will pay it. Long nice. Ago, this place was beautiful, but now we it's hid the Black Soul Stone in the deepest part of the Nephilim ruins near here. We thought it would be safe. Malfrio found it all the same. I consider myself an expert on all matters concerning bodies. Not the body yet. itself is a small, odd creature given to foraging and burrowing. Under normal circumstances, it fears humans. But it can be incited to great violence when under the influence of magical objects. Rings in particular seem to excite them. irritating things try and click on them and they don't go where I want them to go whoa the cast Boggan is a ferocious hulking beast with an exceedingly bad temper aided by packs of boggets it will fight anything that crosses its path Invariably, some of the boggets will die, but the survivors are rewarded with scraps left over from the boggins' prey. If only my assistants would work for so little. The first time I saw a witch, she burned. Father took me to the town square to see it. Look, he said, that is the face of evil. But she looked like any other woman, and burned like... This is the entrance to the tomb, but someone's collapsed it. Adria. It looks like we'll have to find another way into the ruins. What was that? Something is coming. Not yet. Stones littered across the blood marsh that will lead us to the main one. The guide stones are useless to most, but will reveal the correct path to a Nephilim such as yourself. Hooray! You never stop trying, Adria. Say that to you. Remember to get the information we need before you. Right. Well, that's not the really reason. My father could never understand. He was born with privilege and wealth, and he spent every moment of his life trying to protect it. I was his flesh and blood, but he cared more about the names Sweet. in the books and the faces of the paintings on the walls. They are not going to make me feel bad about killing her in a minute. They are not going to make me feel bad. Because she killed her daughter. For a crime evil. 
It's not cool, it's not cool. Please don't do that. For goodness sake. I'll fail. Ah, stupid bog it. Die, you little git. Right, let's see what this ring is. Oh, that's actually quite bad. <laughs> uh, a lot less damage. Yeah, no. That's actually quite bad. Maybe I've rolled really badly on it, but I can't afford to remake it now, so... I'll just have to, um... Use it for mats. Let me try. There are four entrances to the Nephilim city, each one etched with a sigil. Only the correct one marks the true entrance to the tomb, however. When you activate these stones, one of the wrong sigils disappears. Then all we need to do is eliminate two of the remaining sigils. Snares are surprisingly effective, though I have no idea how they learned to fashion them. Most of the Boggan's feeble intelligence seems to be centered around killing and eating, and in this respect, their efforts are adding. Not yet. I should have one of these snares to my tent when I'm sleeping. The crusade marches on! I had believed my new assistant was the noisiest creature in the world, but I'm not sure if this is the right passage. Find two more of those stone things then. Whoa! Pretty big and scary. Searching for the maggot room has been quite an adventure. I first observed the corpse of one near the road to Westmarch, where it raised such a stench that my new assistant vomited twice on my favorite traveling cloak. The stains came out eventually, but I was sorely vexed. Tower before Zakarum. I didn't even notice it there for a second. Patience. Ah, is this another rune? This is not the passage I'm looking for. No, that's the leaf rune thing. I kinda wanna go through it to see what it's like. Oh uh. Oh, this is just a cave. Excellent. Winding cave. Not ready yet.
Ooh, level 40. Hold your ground, I've got a passive, nice. God, I love the Lightning Crusader. Might have been overkill there. Destruction Harvest, what a good name. <laughs> of monsters in this cave, mostly rats and things, but still, it's a lot. Oh no, there wasn't the end of the cliff. I thought it was a cliff. Nope. Aha, an event. Defeat Growl and his followers. Now I gotta kill him. Pretty good. Twenty K XP and things for that. That's not bad. It's about going all the way out. Oh my god. <laughs> it's miles away! Might uh, explore most of it. If I've gone all this way, I might as well explore everything else that I can if I see bits unexplored. Probably the end, yeah it is. Gonna bridge the gap. Oh, that's helped. Bridge this gap, hopefully. Yes. And then this will bring me back to the beginning. That's lucky.
I'm not just going to spend my time endlessly killing rats. Another winding cave. The crusade, oh, it's the same winding cave. Aha! Uh -huh. That's interesting. I like that. Double entrance. There's another thing over there. trying to find the places to eliminate but that seems to be very tricky because they don't seem to want to be found aha speak of the devil you may have found them yes here's one so it's not leaf and not fire which sigil shows the correct entrance Oh no, wave it showed. Ah, now I know which sigil marks the right passage. It's the wind one. Vote for my wrath. Cool. Here we go. Of course, it's the this one I didn't right find. Passage. on humans so they may resemble us more closely. Look they don't succeed. I can't half a mind to explore the ancient ruins outside Westmark. And then I realized they were crawling with dreadful scabs. We could be frightening me. I can make my research much too fine. And I am widely known for my efficiency. Am I not? Phantasms are unlike any spirits I have seen on Sanctuary. They bear a resemblance to lesser demons, but the souls of demons are always reborn in the hells. I suspect the Phantasms may be the remnants of some early Nephilim, those born more human than usual. Bodies were formed from the water and earth of the marsh itself, while the venom of the marsh creatures gave them life. Their very skin seems to burst with the poison.
The lightning thing, making something a conduit when I use a lightning attack is just so good. Combined with all my lightning based abilities, it's very, very good. Nephilim switch. Plugged that Nephilim switch, didn't I? Yeah, there it is. Overburdened, so we'll pop back. Do some crafting. Crap, 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 crap. God, the danger. Hit 
hideous power of the Crusader is really quite awesome. Where am I going? Oh, okay, I need to go back down there. How long must it have taken to build all of this? Oh, maybe not. Uh, that way. Fire chains. Got him. This is the way I didn't come in the beginning. Oh god. Fortune Shrine, nice. Oh, nice. Activate the first switch. Aha. Kill the summon demon. Should be able to do it before time runs out. Not ready yet. Boom. I've got Abyssal Guard. Shogarun Emblazoned Shield. That's it. So all I got was emblazoned shield. Oh dear. Here's the ruins. Right. So what I'll do now is I think that's enough for right for that. one episode. But anyway, thank you guys very very much for watching. I've been Sarah from Defection Gaming, and soon we'll be carrying on the adventures that is Diablo 3 Act 5. Anyway, see you very soon. Bye.